everyone, it's Becca from At Home in the Sun and I am just popping in to show you guys a quick drop in my Etsy shop. So this is something brand new that I just launched that I want to show you guys. So if you are a regular follower of my channel, you know that I like to use category cards or dashboards, um, cash envelope inserts, whatever you like to call them. And so I am going to be offering them for purchase in my shop and I wanted to show you guys all the designs that I came up with for purchase. As you can see, there are quite a few that I will have available. So if you're interested in purchasing these, um, hopefully you can find a design that you love that will match your binders and match your style. So let's go through all the designs and then I'll show you how they work with different kinds of cash envelopes. So this is the first design. This is my Shimmering Sands design. We have the pretty turquoise and this beachy color. It's supposed to um, look like a beach. I really, really love this one. And the next one I really, really love. So if you're into like bees and honeycombs and things like that, you will love this one. This is a pretty neutral um, bee themed one. I really, really like this one. And it's a little bit vintagey. The next one is this, and this is a style I've already had in my shop. This is my boho rainbow style. So now you can get it in a category card for your envelopes. And then the next one is my midnight moth style. So this is really dark, like purples and blues with the pretty moths in them. I really, really like this one a lot. And the next one is like a floral vintage one with muted colors. So this color in the background is actually a very, very dark green. This is also a new one, another vintage floral one. I really like this one as well. So we have some dark plums, dark greens in there. And then this one is a style I've had for a while, just like a vintage floral with a very uh, muted pink background. And this one is a pretty muted butterfly. And then we have a gray and pink flower. This one is the ones that I am currently using in one of my binders. Um, so this is a favorite of mine. I really, really love this. This is my blush garden style. And this one has been really, really pop popular with you guys. This is my rainbow cheetah or rainbow leopard print style. This is my ombre rainbow with the pretty little butterfly. I really, really like this one. I'm also using this one, um, this style in one of my binders as well. Um, this is a really pretty vintagey muted lavender background. And then this one, we have some browns and oranges in there, another vintage floral. And this is muted blues, muted blue florals. I think this actually might have been the very first design that I ever did. Actually, you know what? This was the first design that I ever did. It was my llamas. Oh, and those llamas have a special place in my heart. I love them. So we have this llama. The background is a very, very muted ivory color. And almost done. Then we have this one with the really pretty floral wreath and a few golden stars. And then I think we're back to the beginning. Nope, we got one more. This is my golden garden style. I was using this one last year a lot in one of my resin binders. This one is green and gold with a tan background. And now we are back to the beginnings. So there's a lot of different styles to pick from. So let's pick out a few and let's see how they look in the envelopes. So I have three different kinds of envelopes here. So I have a no zip A6 a zip A6 and this is an A6 and this goes in the disc bound binders um, which I do sell in my shop. So let's see how these all look in these three different kinds of envelopes. So let's start with the zipless ones and these are really the easiest for sliding everything in and out. So the reason why I prefer category cards 
as opposed to like vinyl and stuff on the envelopes because I've had so many envelopes break, like the seams break on the side and I have to throw them away. And I feel like with category cards, you can just really easily move them from envelope to envelope if your envelopes wear out and break and you need a, and you need a new one. And especially with these zipper ones, these zippers tend to come off really, really easily. And I'm so afraid of like ruining my envelopes. So um, that's why I prefer these category cards or dashboards. So that's how it looks inside of a zipless envelope. And then in the disc bound envelopes, I usually insert them this way. And then I have it in my binder like this. And when I cash stuff, I flip it so you guys can see it um, on camera. So that's how it looks in there. Really, really pretty. And then for a zipper envelope. So if you do end up ordering these and you have zipper envelopes, you do have to kind of wedge them in. So let me show you how to do that. These are laminated, they're very sturdy, they're printed on cardstock. So they will bend slightly like when you wedge them into the envelope. So don't really be afraid of like messing up the dashboard. So you see how you have to like bend it a little bit, kind of squeeze it in there, just like that. And that's what it looks like in a zipper envelope. So yeah. Um, they're really the perfect size to fit in whatever kind of envelope you have. I'm also going to be offering these in a five size because I know some of you use um, larger envelopes. So A6 and A5. So whatever um, envelope size that you have, I can accommodate you. So let's look at them one more time. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. And I'm really excited to be able to offer these to you guys. I've had a lot of people private message me on Etsy wanting to buy these and I have sold them without like setting up a listing or anything, but there has been quite a bit of demand for them. So I thought I would set up like an official listing so you guys can go on and buy them whenever you need to. So let's do one more thing before we end the video. Let's see um, how they look inside of an actual binder. So let's pick out one that matches this purple binder. So that one matches. Let's see, this one actually matches. Those are the ones I have in this binder, um, my personal one. This one, yeah, that kind of matches. That one, that one could match. Let's see, are there any other ones? I love this vintage one. This one could possibly match. It's got some dark plums in there. So let's just do this one right here. So let's see how it looks in an actual binder so you guys can see exactly how it would look if you purchased it. So let's wedge this in. So the A6 category card fits perfectly into this envelope. So you can get an idea of how it would look in your binders. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite um, category card style is that I showed you today. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.